Today we will develop a Discord chatbot that interacts with the OpenAI API to provide completions like ChatGPT3. We begin by creating a new directory for our project, which we will name Discord GPT3 Chatbot. Navigate into the folder by executing the command cd discord gpt3 chatbot. We can now initialize a new package.json file by running yarn init y. Install all the necessary dependencies to run our server. We need discord.js, openai, and .env. Next, we will launch our code editor. In our package.json file, we can add a script to run our server. We can now close our package.json file. Create a new file called index.js. This is where we will write our code for our server. Let's also create a .env file. Here is where we define our environment variables. We will have a open AI API key and a discord bot token. We are going to add these later. We can now import the packages that we installed earlier. So at the top we can require .env and config. With the .env we can grab our variables from our .env file. We need configuration and open AI API from the open AI package. We can grab the client and the gateway intent bits from the discord.js package. We can now set up a new OpenAI configuration by specifying the API key. This API key can be obtained from the OpenAI website. To access it, if you're on the OpenAI website, you can click on Personal, View API Keys. If you have not yet generated an API key, you can create a new secret key by clicking the Create New Secret Key button. Then you can copy this, paste it in your .env file. And here we grab it from our environment file. Quick reminder, make sure you never share your API key with someone else because people with your API key can basically create responses on your behalf and you don't want that to happen. When you go to usage, it's important to note that using the OpenAI API comes at a cost. If you create a new account, you will receive $18 in credit to use for free and each token consumed by the API costs money. So as you can see here, I granted $18. This is the free trial usage and I only used 12 cents. If you head over to pricing and scroll down, you can see the language models here. In this tutorial, we will be working with the DaVinci model, which costs 2 cents per thousand tokens. For reference, prices are per thousand tokens. You can think of tokens as pieces of words, where thousand tokens is about 750 words and this paragraph is 35 tokens. We can now create a new client by using the client from the discord.js package. When creating the client, we need to specify the intents, which can be obtained from the gateway intent bits. We need the guilds. We need the guild messages. And we need the message content. Next we can add a client on ready event listener to ensure that our Discord bot is successfully logged into the server. Now we need to listen for messages and have the bot respond when a specific message is received. We can do this by adding client on message. We can access the message here. So what we can do here is when a user sends a message, we can check if the content is equal to what we specify. So if we, for example, do if message.content is equal to ping, we can add a reply from our bot with pong. Before testing, we need to log in our bot. We can do this by typing client login. And in here, we have to specify the Discord bot token. To get the token, we first need to create a new application on the Discord developer portal. 
before we are going to grab that we are going to create a new discord server so when you're logged into discord on the left tab here you can click on add a server create my own you can choose between creating a server for me and my friends or for a club or community i'll create one for me i call this gpt tree server you can name this whatever you like and click on the button create now that our server has been created, we can head over to the Discord developer portal, create a new application. I call this GPT-3. Agree to the terms of servers and the developer policy. Now that we created our application, head over to bot, click on add bot and click on yes, do it. We have to enter our authentication code here. Click on submit. Now our bot has been created. I will change the image of the bot. I use this logo from OpenAI. You can give the bot a username. Both the image and the name will be displayed in the Discord server. So I will save changes here. For some of you that already created a bot before, there will be a button with reset token here. So before you saw a button with copy, you can just copy the token from there. But I will reset the token here. So click on reset token. Yes, do it. You have to enter it again. And now you can see the token here. Copy it, paste it in your .n file and save it. Be aware that no one should get access to this token, only you. Now we can close our .n file. Our bot now needs to join our Discord server in order to test all of the code that we just wrote. When we go back to the Discord developer portal, we can head over to OAuth 2 and click on URL generator. In here, we can click on bot and then we can give the bot permissions. We will give it the administrator permission so it gets all the permissions. Then copy this link here. And then when you're in your browser, you can paste the link in here, but make sure that you are logged in with the account that you created the server with. So you are the administrator of the server. Then here you can select a server. I use the server that we just created and I click on continue. And here you can see the permission that are given to the bot. We can see the administrator permissions and then we click on authorize. We have to verify that we are a human. And now we can see our bot is authorized. And if we go to our Discord server, we can now see that our bot has joined the server. There is one thing that we forgot. When you go to the bot and you scroll down, we have to enable the message content intent. Save changes. Now we can run our server by running yarn start. We can now see the bot just logged in. We can now see the bot is online. I've made a mistake here. We need to do message create instead of message. And we can now test this out if we type ping. We first have to restart it in order to make it work. So if we now type ping, the bot will reply with pong. So what I wanna do is create a new function that creates a completion from the OpenAI API. So I'm going to create a new function. I call this GPT response. And here we will specify a prompt. And now we can make a new instance of the OpenAI API. We can use the configuration that we made at the start. Now we can create a response by doing await OpenAI create completion. We can specify a model. We are going to use the text DaVinci model. Now we need to specify the prompt and we are going to use it from here. Now we need to specify the max tokens. We use 100. The max tokens is basically the maximum numbers of tokens to generate in the completion. Then we are going to use a temperature. What this means is the higher the temperature, the model will generate a more random completion instead of a more defined answer. Then eventually we can return the completion. We can grab it from the data, the choices, and then text. And now if we scroll down here, we can add async in here. And in here we can do if message.content starts with explanation mark GPT. And we create a new const with prompt and we grab the message.content. This is the message that the user sends. And then we can do const response is await GPT response. That's the function that we made and then we pass the prompt in here. And what we can do now is message.reply. 
and then the bot will reply with the response that is generated from the create completion from the OpenAI API. So if you now close our server and restart it, we can now ask our bot anything. What we can do now is explanation mark GPT. We can ask the bot some random questions. So what is the capital of Sweden? And as you can see, the bot will reply the capital of Sweden is Stockholm. So this is pretty cool. Let's ask the bot some more questions. So as you can see, it's working perfectly. And that was it for the video. I hope you learned something throughout this video. I want to thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next one.